Pregame.com. It's not the Big Ten versus the Pac-12, but this year's Rose Bowl has just as much meaning, if not more. It's a college football playoff semifinal. This is Brad Powers, Pregame.com Studios, just off the Vegas Trim. And we're talking the college football playoff semifinals. It's the first game between Oklahoma and Georgia. Offense versus defense, who do you like? Normally I like the defense, but in this case, I like the offense and the Sooners here, plus the points. That's right, Oklahoma plus the two and a half is your pick. You might want to wait. You might get a three later on. But here's why I like Oklahoma. Number one edge for me is their experience level, especially at the quarterback position. I got a four-year starter in Baker Mayfield, arguably the best player in all of college football against a true freshman in Jake Fromm, who Georgia game plans for not to put the ball into his hands. I think the pressure could quite get the from, especially in a close game. He hasn't been involved in a lot of close games this year. Add it all up. That experience edge is why I'm leaning with the Sooners plus the points. Let's talk national title aspirations. I truly feel at the beginning of the year, Oklahoma each and every year, although they floundered a little bit in some of these biggest games, they said we want to win the national title. Georgia, I think that they've so far overachieved what expectations were. They could lose this game by 25 points and still say, hey, it was a great season. Yeah, and you know, you look at that, and I think that's another edge here for Oklahoma. They're used to playing in these national title implications. Haven't always performed very well with that, but Georgia, I mean, when's the last time they had, like, the national title hanging in the balance? You can make a case that you got to go all the way back to the early 80s when Herschel Walker was <laughs> their running back. I mean, their head coach, Kirby Smart, has some experience but man player for player Oklahoma's been there done that the Georgia players haven't let's talk Baker Mayfield wins the Heisman old school betting says whoever wins the Heisman that's a team I want to go ahead and look to fade because they get overhyped and distracted but not so much in recent years yeah and yeah Lamar Jackson had a bad performance in last year's bowl game but outside of that I think that trend is obsolete. And let's talk about the numbers. The last 10 postseason games for the Heisman Trophy winner, his teams are 8-2 and two straight up, 6-4 and four against the spread. And I think the reason is, I mean, let, let's take a look at why that trend was so good. I mean, it was talked about, you know, the player getting fat and happy, you know, taking his eyes off the prize, going and doing the banquet circuit. But I think today's millennials, they're used to this extra attention because of social media. So I think they can handle the extra attention. Let's talk power ratings. Who's the better team? Believe it or not, I think Oklahoma is. And, you know, the line move says I'm dead wrong here because I got Oklahoma should be the one-point favorite. At least that's where the line opened up at. There was some agreement there. But I think here's where George is being mispriced. I mean, schedule-wise, yes, they went on the road and beat Notre Dame even though they had 40,000 fans in the stands, like I predicted. And, yes, they played Auburn twice, but – Who's their other wins against? The SEC East is a joke. Florida fired their coach. Tennessee fired their coach. Missouri looked like a bum against Texas in the bowl game. The SEC East was way overrated, and I think Georgia's getting you know, too much value here in the marketplace. Well, I've been a big fan of Georgia <laughs> uh, because – They've been like the most consistent team, I think, over the course of the season. One bad loss at Auburn, but it was, it was a predictable bad spot. And a lot of those wins, yeah, uh, Florida's down. Yeah, Tennessee's <laughs> down. But they're beating these teams by 40. And I love the way that they pounded Georgia Tech in a bad spot for them at the end of the year. They won all their games by 14 plus, other than that Notre Dame game. All their wins, super, super high quality. And that's a great point there. But here's where a team, and you think, boy, a team's just pounding through teams they're going to have an intimidation factor I don't think that's the case here and if there's one program that hasn't been intimidated by the big bad SEC and this leads me to my second handicap it's the Oklahoma Sooners in fact they've won and covered each of the last four times they played an SEC team including recently we're talking the last four or five years a blowout win over Alabama in a bowl game and boy we talked Auburn being so good well Last year, Oklahoma in the Sugar Bowl beat up that big, bad Auburn team, blew them out there. I don't think there's any intimidation factor from the Sooners. Despite that game, the public <laughs> loves to back the SEC in the very biggest games because of all the success that the SEC has had. So some point spread inflation money coming in on all the perceived really good SEC teams. We're seeing money on Georgia, Alabama, LSU. And to me, it made a lot of sense five years ago. The, the, the SEC was by far the best conference in college football. They proved it by winning so many national titles in a row. They had the best talent, the best coaches. I don't think they have the best coaches anymore outside of Nick Saban. All the coaching talent that's left, James Franklin, Urban Meyer, Mark Rick, Les Miles, you name it. On a week-in week, week and week-out basis, you're just not seeing it here. And I think you're paying a premium that isn't warranted. 
I like this pick. I've come around to it, <laughs> especially because we're getting two and a half. And I got to tell you, I think we might get plus three to make it official. Yeah, let's make this official. We're taking Oklahoma plus the points. The Sooners have a massive experience edge, especially a quarterback. You got the four year starting quarterback, the Heisman Trophy winner, Baker Mayfield, against a true freshman who Georgia specifically game plans to take the ball out of his hands. I think the pressure might be too much for Fromm here. And the second main factor, Oklahoma, not intimidated by the big bad SEC. In fact, they've won and covered each of the last four times they played SEC opponents, including a blowout bowl win over Alabama and a blowout bowl win over Auburn just last year. Add it all up. The Sooners plus the points are the pick. More videos at pregame.com.